We got a package. Open up. My knife skills are awesome. Got a new five gallon can here, a two and a half gallon can, discount code through SureCan. It is Spencer and it saves you 10%. We will have the link down below for you if you are interested in these gas cans. We absolutely love them. We rock these on our trailer. Good morning everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Friday evening? So it's my birthday currently and to start the day off I've chose to do something outside of my norm and uh, do something a little bit different. This was kind of like hey I want to go. I've been trying to go. I just don't have the time because my life is very uh, filled I guess you could say. A gentleman that I know Troy he's a local business owner has a great uh, dumpster service company doing phenomenal. Uh, he's invited me probably for the last couple months to a business meeting. He gets a group of business folks together that own different style businesses and I just haven't had the time to be able to get there. Well, today I'm making time and I'm forcing myself to go because in reality in about 20 minutes we should be starting uh, our mowing for the day. But I'm going to take an hour, go over here, check it out. Uh, I guess interact and talk with other like-minded business owners uh, outside of lawn care landscaping and snow removal and storage. I, I honestly, I don't know much about the folks in it. <clears throat> He's kind of filled me in a little bit, but not overall very much. So uh, I don't think I'll film there, but I guess I'll give you guys my reaction once we leave there. So real quick, first impressions, waiting to pick TQ up here at the house and then we're going to get to work. Meeting was really cool. Uh, I guess being in the room with people that are doers, uh, which isn't always the case. You know, a lot of times you deal with folks in business that, you know, they talk a lot, but they don't do a lot. So being in the room with a bunch of people that make things happen and get things done uh, was really refreshing. Uh, the people all in the group were really cool. Haven't even shared any of this with TQ either. Uh, I don't know personal wise if I can commit to you know, their weekly meetings, 8 a.m., it's just a bad time for business. Wintertime probably wouldn't be so bad, uh, but definitely summertime, it would be a stretch. Uh, with that being said, a lot of good people, real estate investors, uh, Troy, which owns White Dumpster, and I think Alliance it is, or Louisville, out that way, all of Stark County, Ohio. I mean, he was just telling me he went to Columbus to pick a safe up, and I'm like, dude, you're crazy on a Sunday. So if you need to get some stuff moved around Ohio, Troy's your guy. Uh, I'll put a link to his business number as well in the uh, video description just out of respect for him inviting me to the business meeting. Uh, insurance folks, uh, attorneys, I mean a lot of just different folks, uh, roofers, you name it. Uh, just a good group of people. So I guess he's got it all. Ready to go?
you what. 19s never look so good, right? Absolutely. Wow. hop back in the truck here just waiting on savannah to finish up a little bit of mowing here gonna give this gentleman a call back tisha said that he called and i think text a couple of times so need some advice so i'm gonna see if we can help him out my birthday is gonna be all about giving back this is john what's up john how are you this is sean with spencer lawn care uh good how about yourself Oh, not too bad. Just uh, out here trying to get through some mowing. It's hot as can be. How are you? Making it by. I hear you. So you need some you need some help with snow removal, I believe it was? Yeah, I'm looking to... I already had my lawn care company set up. Uh -huh. yeah, I'm, I was looking to expand it into like leaf removal and snow removal. What uh, what what equipment do you currently have for let's just say the leaf removal? Uh, leaf removal. I have a Toro stand on zero turn. Um, a bagger on that unit. Yeah. Okay. I got the bagger on it, and then I got two backpack leaf blowers. Nice. Do you have workers, or is it just you? It's me and two other people. Okay, you got, what do you guys have for trucks? You got a dump bed, what do you have? You got a trailer? Uh, we have just a standard trailer and a truck, and that's about it. Okay, so you- We don't have the dump bed or anything like that. Okay, so uh, how, how are you guys currently doing your leaf cleanups? Uh, we haven't started doing them yet. Okay. So that's like what made me want to if you guys are calling to see if y'all had any advice on how to do them. Okay. Are, are you planning on making any more, uh, I guess, purchases this fall, like for a dump bed, getting a dump insert for your truck or, uh, I was thinking about getting like a dump trailer. Okay. Like you, you guys had, but I don't know how much that's going to be. I haven't even started looking yet. Yeah, for our setup, you, I mean, you're talking a large investment. You're you're talking probably over forty grand at this point. We paid almost thirty, but uh, what I would suggest because it sounds like you're kind of just hopping into the leaf removal game. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So what I would do is I would start offering leaf mulching at first. Uh, you can alleviate a lot of customers just because when you start bagging leaves and removing them, you now have to have a place to dump them. Do you have a place to dump them? Um, when customers have me bag their lawn as I clip it, I just throw it in the bed of our truck and I take it to my house and burn it. Okay, so yeah. So not really, but I kind of do. Okay, so I, I would put out a call to friends and family asking if, you know, anybody wants leaves for the fall. Just so you're not taking all that debris home every time. And you could, yeah. uh, you could either take it to a dump site, pay a little fee, or if you buy a lot of mulch from the dump site, uh, typically you can uh, dump there for free. Uh, with, that, with that being said, I'd put out a, a little message to friends and family asking if anybody's looking uh, for leaves for their gardens or anything where you can dump them, just so you can reduce taking that all home and that mess and burning them. Yeah. Because you're gonna be growing a business. Leaves, you know, leaves are a big hot commodity in the fall, so, you're gonna be talking a lot of leaves is you know if you and another couple guys you guys can clean up a lot of leaves you know yeah 
the the biggest thing i would say is you want to alleviate how much stress you're putting on your body so you can do more you can be faster do more jobs and be efficient so i would i would look into how you're going to get the leaves out of the bed once you get into them so you can you can go as cheap as getting like a rollout tarp from harbor freight where you can modify it so that when you drop your tailgate you can just roll it and you know pull the leaves out uh other people put tires back there with a rope system and whenever they drop the tailgate they'll pull it out with a mower or whatever uh the biggest thing is getting those leaves out of the bed once you guys are bagging them and then dumping them in there that's where it's going to be your time uh i dealt with this personally myself until we got the dump trailer uh so that that's one option you could tarp them tarping you know if you got a couple guys it's cool by yourself it gets heavy real quick uh you know just tarping right in there i would suggest offering mulching leaves up to a lot of your customers it's just a small upcharge put some money in your pocket and you're not taking anything with you simply you're just changing out the blades and cutting off your deck uh discharge to mulch them in so yeah yeah any other questions i can help you with real quick we're about to move on here to our next site oh you're so sweaty <laughs> So, TQ, what'd you get me for my birthday? I don't know. What did I get you for your birthday? I don't know. I haven't got anything yet. Yes, you did. <laughs> what did I get? <laughs> you got that gun safe. Remember? I did? <laughs> no, I don't. awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. Did you get me that? <laughs> Is it not not here yet listen we discussed it i said i i either want to get you this or this and you preferred this so it's like was i working when we had this conversation we have to go pick it out hmm. well i have to hit troy up to move it yeah there my, you go you know my young back here is not so young anymore because you're old love you you're older than me <laughs> <laughs> this is awful we're gonna get to work because obviously we're having a marital moment here this is gonna go off camera and actually other things that i got you is on the way so Ooh, are they stay tuned it's on the way it's on the way like on the way is it big or small they're small things and big things All right, so the homeowner told us that she got the bees taken care of last week. So TQ went to check. We good? All good. And hey, watch out for that branch. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys remember last week we were here, we weren't able to trim around this side of the shed because there was a nest up under here, which I thought were wasps. 
uh, after she called the company out to treat them, they said they were bald-faced hornets, bald-faced hornets. And uh, they're super aggressive from what I've heard. I don't know specifically, but from what the guy told her is they'll actually even remember what your face looks like. And if you come back, they'll come after you. So pretty crazy. So I ran out of time working on this video today, guys. So tomorrow's video is going to be a continuation of today's video. It's going to be super cool. A great way to finish off my birthday. Like I said, giving back. Stick around. Let's go. Hi, this is RJ and Turner from Tree Kids Lawn Care. And we would like to wish you a very happy birthday, Mr. Sean Spencer. And thank you for all the advice that we learned from you on your YouTube channel over the years. Thank you. All right, guys, so I didn't realize that TQ opened up the brand spanking new sure can gas cans that came in the mail until I was editing this video. And I'm like, hey, TQ, these are brand spanking new. I don't even know she knew it. They got a little something new. And that something new is this design right here. So if you guys can tell, you usually have a gas cap and then you fill it up and gas can spill out, you know, if you get that high pressure or anything like that. Well, with their new gas can, you just have this spring on here that you open up. Stick your nozzle right down in there and it has like a little plastic, I don't know, almost like grabs your finger. It's like a little guard in there. Put your gas in there, boom, bada bing, fill it up, let it close back up. Really nice, really convenient, saves you time, saves you from dropping or losing that gas cap potentially. And uh, you know how the gas cans used to swell up a little bit too? Well, I'm assuming whenever they do that, this will just open up a little bit and release that pressure and then go back down throughout the day. So really cool, really convenient from SureCan. There is a link down in the description. You can use code SPENCER, save yourself 10%. As always, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, keep mowing, keep growing, keep making money, boys. We'll talk to you later. TQ out, peace. Bye, can I flip a gas can? Flip a gas can? No, I'm just kidding. That's sweet though. Thinking outside the box, SureCan.